our first display that we have done outside of our recruitment fair and has been very active so far. You probably can hear some chants in the background. They've included My Body, My Choice, um, I Stand With Pam Parenthood, and Play the Worst, which is FM Kids. What if you are killed? Let me know. What if you are them? Thank you. I didn't know. Thank you. I couldn't have an opinion. I didn't care. I couldn't have an opinion because I didn't have a fucking brain. I thought my feelings would not be hurt. Well, we have completed the Cemetery of the Innocents display at Eastern Washington University, and I was not expecting the controversy that we encountered. Um, this is a school in Eastern Washington, which tends to be a little bit more conservative, but this is the first pro-life group that they've had on campus, and the group started up last year during COVID. So they haven't seen a lot of pro-lifers out on campus before. Um, and this was the first display besides the school recruitment fair that this group has done. Um, and it was going fairly well. People were not really sure what to think about it at first. And then we had one girl come up behind our display and start ch chanting, my body, my choice, and F them kids. Um, and... It was very loud and very distracting, obviously. She had some people join her. Um, they eventually moved away from the back of our display and across the street. Um, and we're very rude. We had a girl tell a couple of the male members of our group that they were ugly and the female members that they shouldn't be here because they're women and they're taking away women's rights. Um, we tried to explain to them that we were hosting a memorial for the pre-born for the 972 children that are killed every day um, by abortions by Planned Parenthood um, and that we were promoting better health care options um, such as federally qualified health centers but they didn't want to listen to us and they preferred to personally attack us um, and I would say that the people here probably have been some of the most unproductive conversations that I have encountered um, with people just personally attacking the members of the group um, instead of having real conversations. We did manage to have a few good conversations and we had some new members sign up for the group um, and the students did so good. I'm so proud of them. It was such a rough first display to have and they took it like champs. They remained calm the whole time and I think we really made an impact on campus and got people thinking about this issue and brought it to the forefront of their minds. So great job Eastern Washington Students for Life. I'm proud of you and I can't wait to do this display with you in the future.